build deadly addictions. I want my daughter back. You never daddy. had me. Destroyed family. Somebody got that's vodka, 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 vodka. Do you have a drinking problem? Fit, twice fit, on fit. Sundays. <laughs> Every day is Friday. Because I love my sister and she's my baby and she's the only sister that I have and I need her. You need to get your life together, not only for your sake, but for your kids. It's not about you anymore. Right now. for coming in and thanks for watching. On today's show, we have mothers who abuse drugs and alcohol and the children who suffer because of it. And my next guest says her mom did the unthinkable to get her fix. Please welcome Kimberly to the show. Kimberly, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Bill. How are you? All right. Kimberly, I understand you have a bad relationship with your mom? Yes, sure do. Tell me, tell me your story. What happened? Um, my mom got addicted to drugs after my grandmother died. Um, that's when it really went downhill. She was a good mother until then, um, kept jobs. Um, so there was a triggering moment in your mom's life yes. that she went completely... Yes. Yeah, and, and how was, old were you when that happened? I was nine when my grandmother died. Nine years old, and you're about 23 now? I'm 23 now, yes. 23. So what, when that happened, what kind of drugs did your mom abuse? Um, at first, it was painkillers. Um, she got addicted to painkillers because she hurt herself at work, and that's how she got addicted to the other drugs. Um, and then it was um, methamphetamines. Meth? Yes. And then it was an event that happened when you were about 12 years old. Yes. Um, what occurred? I got pregnant. Um, I was raped, got pregnant at 12, um, had the baby at 13, um, gave the baby up to the guy's parents because they adopted me, and I wasn't allowed to raise the baby. Wait a minute. You became adopted? By the man's parents, yes. The rapist parents adopted you? Yes. Did you have a sense that you were sold for drugs? Yes, um, when I was 17, I read, I finally got to read the transcripts, um, and he had told, he had told the um, police in the investigating room that um, he, my mom had traded me a few times to him. And For drugs? Yes, that's what I read in the transcripts. Okay. D does your mom agree or disagree with this? She disagrees, and she blames me. Uh, how bad? Well, hold on. No, 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 no. no. No, I ain't never blamed you for what happened. I no. never, no, I no. never stole you. But if you want to get up here and tell the you tell the damn truth. I am telling no, the truth. No, you're damn not. I'm not. No. Tell them. Then tell you them. read I don't stress. have to tell them I was there. I was I've too. I never got addicted to painkillers. And I didn't That's get off the path until you got pregnant. I didn't, I, no, no, no. I didn't say I didn't do it. I said I didn't, didn't get on it. Ma Mary, hey, this is you, Mary, Father. Mm. Mary, have a seat, Mary. Let's go back to when. when mm -mm. Well, hell no. Oh, you know, no, hell no. Stand up I'm me. not the one. Take, take responsibility. I did. No, you Where's didn't. Where's yours? No, you didn't. Where's yours? Oh, I take it. Really? Yeah. Mm. Let's go back. Let's go back up. What happened when she was about nine years old? By the way, this is Mary. It's Kimberly's mother. Mary, let's go back. Oh, you don't even know me. You don't know the damn story. All right, now, hold on. Let's go back. Was there a triggering moment that caused you to get in the world of drugs? Was there when, a... she, when, when she started messing around with a 25-year-old man, oh, when, when I, I was started at work? messing around? Yes, when, when I, I was started at work. Messing around. Well, she's okay. 12 years old? Messing yes. around. When I was, no, 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 no. When I was at work, her, her brother, her sister, this guy, that was all hanging out. I wasn't at home. I was, my we were work. hanging out in the living room, mother, and at his house playing video games. I was with my older brother. Really? And he was giving you math, Kim. That's how you got your bed. Wait a minute. If she's 12 years old, a mother's got to protect a 12-year-old. You think year old I don't know that? And I'll pay that price. You got to protect them. You got to protect them. She doesn't ever. A, a, a child that's 12 years old does not have free choice to have sex with a 25-year-old man. No, it they sure them. don't. It doesn't. And her supposed to be messing around, and she was supposed to be at home. Supposed to be at home while I yeah, was at work. work. And I got work? lied to every Were damn day. Were you on drugs when she was a child? No, I was not. Pre You're a liar. Drug? Meth, prescriptive drugs, did you use them? Never, no, I never no, got hooked never, on painkillers. How about, no, how about... Oh, they got that from Christine, and so did I this morning. Talk about the financial situation in the house, because if you're working, do you picture, are you telling us you were a functioning... 
24-7 mom who yes. worked. You, this I, had, whole story. I had my three children. I had my husband's three children. I had my aunt's two children and another girl that had got kicked out that was 14 year old, years old in my home that I was raising by my damn self. Sounds like about nine kids. Yes. That nine I was kids. Working and Were you overwhelmed? By yeah, did you, much. did you get in the world of drugs like a medicine? To... No, no, no. Were you into I the... got into drugs after what happened to her because I couldn't cope with it. You no, couldn't... it was not after, mother. I don't know what world you living in, but I'm you living in the reality, world. Kim. I'm coming, I'm in the real world. I don't think so. Did you the court take her away? In. Did the court take yes, Kimberly? Yes, they did, they and, took... I, and I wanted it. You wanted yeah. You yes. want nothing. You I want, wanted it. You, you wanted to go. Yeah, because she, they convinced Kim that she could marry her rapist. And uh, marry my with, rapist? Yes, I yes. wanted to keep the baby, and I couldn't with you. No, and she wanted to go because I wouldn't allow her to have nothing to do with him. And on today, he was in prison. I didn't even have nothing no, to do with I, him yeah. then. And right now, Kimberly, you have four kids. One was taken away. She and has six kids. Six kids. You've had six kids. How many kids do you have? I have six. You have six kids. Where are the six kids? One is um, with my aunt, uh -huh. and the other one is gone, and the the other one is Cadence, and the other three live with me. And how, why in the hell did you tell them that But I have my kids still because of you? Why you got heaven? Because I brought you to Texas. Yeah, but... Okay. That's the only damn reason you got heaven, because if she would have stayed in Alabama, they would have took her as soon as she was born, just like they did. Okay, uh, okay, little okay, 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 okay. I came here to Texas to have a life with heaven, yes. But they are You're, still in my custody? Barely. Are you because worried about your oh, friends? Oh, barely? Barely. Uh, are you worried about the four kids she still has You can get her? out of my house more Oh, I am, I am. Are you worried about her being on drugs now? Yes. Drug Let's, test me, and I told him, drug test me. Go ahead. Uh, I want to tear off that head. Okay, go ahead. Three days, three days out of your system, but it, you can't get it out of your hair. Okay, let's test your hair. Here, honey, cut Let's test your hair. Cut Yeah, let's test it. Because you were doing tests in my house, Did you too. see your mom cook drugs with your own eyes growing when you were growing up? Did you see it? On a burner in the back room when we were living in the mill village. What if we, I knew how to cook drugs, my ass wouldn't be here. It wasn't be blown just up you. Right it wasn't just you. Other girl, you. your grandkids are being now protected by your daughter, who you claim is currently using drugs. Tell her to raise her sleeve up. Yes, yep. I have scars. You have scars from what? No, she got more than scars. Tell her to raise her sleeve from up. From what? Oh, I have scars. How recent? Are we talking like, can I see them? They're three months. Well, these are a year. Right there. Mm hmm Those are a year. What kind of drugs? Cocaine. Cocaine? How recent? Huh? You're shooting cocaine in veins. Look at this one over here. Let me see the other one. No. No? No. No. Heroin? No. no. Cocaine? Cocaine. Shooting it? Mm-hmm. Are you still using? No. When was the most recent time? Most recent time was about three months ago. Three months ago. Oh, have, have no. Have you gone Hell to no. rehab? Have you done anything of that character? No. You simply... A week ago. A week ago, Go. A week, a a week, week ago, ago. sister doing drugs, too? My sister? You're going to have to ask her that. She's addicted to Kush. She's here. She's doing yeah. what? Kush. Kush, which is... I'm not here to speak for my sister. Which is synthetic marijuana. Mm -hmm. What kind of mother are you to those three? If you're using mainlining and veins, cocaine. Oh, I was a horrible mother. I'm not even going to sit here and try to act like I, I walk on water as a mom. But my kids have a home. My kids have food in their stomach. They have their clothes. They have everything they need. You're and my saying, husband still goes to work. Have you lost those three kids because of your mom? Are you claiming she did no, something wrong? No, 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 no. I didn't lose the other three because of my mom. No, I'm not here for that. Yeah. Those other three were on me. Do you feel you, you might ha have some mothering de deficiencies? Do you think you might be a bad mom because you had a bad mom that you saw this? And no, I didn't have, that's, no, no, no. I didn't have a bad mom. I had a mom that worked and that did drugs, but she was still there in every event. Yeah. Is what is what it was. What are the issues between you two? Because it looks to me like like the mother daughter My issue mother with became her the daughter. Right now is the drugs she's doing. I, the, the past, I don't care about. That's that's long gone. You know what? She what do you want to happen today, Mary? When it was... I want my daughter back. You want I her want back? You never daughter. had me. No, I didn't have you. The cocaine had you. No. Well, the yeah, meth had you. Got help. My sister loved me. Okay, now I got help through my damn church. Rehab. I got help through my church. You don't hardly go to church. You don't hardly do that, Kim. Mother's okay. other daughter is next, so don't go away. Mary's other daughter.
This family feud rages on. I don't feel like my sister loves me. I don't think, I don't feel like... Did I let yeah, you Yeah, you know that they told you, you told them to put me, they, you were putting me out of your house. Yeah, no, I cannot. Addiction. Is Kimberly still using drugs? Yes. And I do too. Mother daughter drama. They know that I wish that I could go back in time and, and redo things, but I can't. Will it all end today? Think about those 11 children you took. You've lost most of them. What's going to take for you, both of you to get off drugs permanently? I'm hard for drugs. My mother never sold her for dope. She's a pathological liar. The little pregnant at 13 because she was sleeping with the man that had it because she was together with this man. They were a couple. All right, Mary, Kimberly just left the stage. Yep. What happened during the break? Um, you can't she, threaten. She thinks, no, I'm not threatening her at all. She thinks that I'm here to blast her. I called this show because I wanted help. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Are, are, are you, a, honey, are you a perfect messenger for that? No. Because have you done things in your life? She may in her mind think you're a hypocrite. But you know what? But I learned from my mistakes, yeah. and this, she keeps doing the same thing over and over and over and over. My grandchildren consider her a monster. All right, how about your other daughter? What, what shape? What shape is she in? <laughs> She's not perfect either. Christina ha has Christina lost her five kids. Yes, she does. Her five are gone. Yes. So we got five, and we have six. Yes. Eleven kids between these two. Yep. Is Christina doing drugs too? <sighs> She's on Kush. Kush, mm -hmm. which is synthetic weed. Marijuana. Yeah. Please welcome Mary's other daughter, Christina, to the show. Christina, come on in. <laughs> Christina, let's talk about your upbringing that got you to this point. You have five kids and they're yes, all sir. gone? Yes, sir. Why were they taken away? Because of my addiction. Addiction to what? I was addicted to methamphetamines. Methamphetamines. It's, you're, you're the responsible party for this. You're an adult now, but what did you see your mom do? My mom, she, um, she, she, like I told you, she worked a lot. Um, I helped take care of my sister and my, you know, my brother. Um, my mom was on Xanax's. Um, the meth, no. I, you know, not so much with being around with my mom with meth. It was always mostly the Xanax's. Um, pills? Pills, just pills. Yes, sir, pills. Okay. Um, what kind of childhood did you have? I've heard things like I didn't have a, lack a of food, childhood. lack of clothes, prostitution. I, no, I never prostituted myself for food. I was told that I, I, I was told that I was. Um, I never prostituted myself for food. Never, never prostituted myself for drugs. Didn't have to. They don't have to. I, um, is your sister a compulsive liar? Some things that she is. Yes. Be honest. She's, yes. Be honest. Yes. And, and so yes, she has lied about everything said up here on the stage to my mom. And I, tell me the I, truth. I don't know what else to do to help her. I, I've Christine, tried. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth about this relationship and about this relationship. Tell me about Me and my mom are closer than me and my sister. Take a look at your daughter. Take a look. Oh, no. And I love my sister and I love my mom. And I want, I want my sister. To my, I don't feel like my sister loves me. I don't feel like my sister loves me. I don't think, I don't feel like. Did I let yeah, you baby, you know that they told you, you told them to put me, they, you were putting Hell me out of your house. Yeah, no, I did not. No, I did not. That's what you told the producer. I was told that I wanted her out. That ain't what you told them. No, it is not. No, it is not, Christina. I was back there defending you, saying that we had, all we had together was each other growing up. You're right, you're right. That's what we had was me and you. You're right. Was there any verbal or physical abuse? She used to belt. Of course, they didn't Didn't you tell one of my producers you were hit with belts and extension cords? Not an extension cord with a belt, yes. Belts, yes. Yes. You were hit by who? And hickories. Mother. Hickories, mm -hmm. which is switches. Mm -hmm. Yes, switches and belts. What Just impact? Like any other parent would put you whoop the damn belt. What, what, was it discipline or was it, it abuse? It was discipline. No, it was discipline. It I wasn't never abuse. My kids. No. Ever. All right. Why, why did you call the show? Because we got drug problems. We got 11 because children. I need help with all of this. You, tell you, me. You really, tell me. Really I don't know don't who see? to believe at this point. They know that I wish that I could go back in time and, and redo things, but I can't. And this one here won't, won't even try. She won't even try to, so to you start me, to build so you, anything. No, no, no. You try to build anything. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, you're here, but why did I you come? I refused to come. No, I you, did, you, you told them that you wasn't going to fly with us, but you told me a different story. You told them you wasn't going to stay in the hotel with I us. I sure did. But you told me a different story. I sure did. Christina, is Kimberly still using drugs? Yes. 
And so, I do too. So I'm not. She's. I'm not blaming her. You both are still on yes, drugs. Because she said it's been I three months. I can't blame one without blaming me. You know what I'm saying? I smoke Kush every day. Give me a drug you test. smoke. I sure do every day. What's going to make you, you daughters, your mothers, think about those 11 children you take? They've lost most of them. What's going to take for you, both of you to get off drugs permanently, not for 90 days? Those track marks tell a story. Well, that's none of my business. That's her body. That's her body. You know what I'm saying? That's her body. Yeah. It's her body, but those children, those six children, deserve a functioning they mother. They do. And, I, and I'm her big sister, and I'm trying to be there to help her. Well, first of all, they have a functioning mother because I'm, I don't do drugs anymore. And I, I, I have no interest in her anymore. It's you. Why? Because I'm sitting out here telling Stop. the truth on you? She's your mother, Kim. You two live together. Just before no, no we more. left our house, left up here, Christina, you were agreeing with me 100% on everything. No, but now some that of the you're things, with mom, no, some of the things that we didn't agree with about, about no, but no, but you you agreed with me about about the drugs growing up. With uh, her. And we just yes. said that. We just said that. That was no, that was I a lie. Did you know that, that yeah. she was given by her mother? To a man in exchange for drugs? No. And that's a damn lie. That's no. what that she said. She says. told you that. She told you a lie. Twelve years old. She I told you that. a lie. Twelve no, years old. I'm just that. saying what was I don't on the transcript. I, I don't know nothing about and that. And when we went to court, when we I went to see court, the damn transcript. When we went to court, because that's a damn lie. When, I know you nothing, said before I you left about the house that, that. that you read what he wrote. Transcripts caused her to be taken away. And it was never in there. That was never in there. Okay, okay, mother. Okay. Was yes, it was, and that's on God himself. All right. Were you aware of this? No. Not with, with the way that not with the wearing of her her. Mind, It's only in her damn mind. Were you separated? The, were the three you Where separated? Where do I get it from? No. Don't, we, don't, don't get it from far, far from My the sister tree. left and moved in with the parents at, uh, I think, at 12, different uh, 12, 12 yeah. and stayed with them until she was 17. I never saw my sister until she was 17 years old. Sure didn't. Five years she was out Five of the years. Five years. How did that make you feel? How did that make you feel? I'm very hurt because I love my sister and she's my baby and she's the only sister that I have and I need her. I need her in my life, and I want her in my life. And, and I want you in my life. And I want to be there for her and help her and show her that, they're, you know, I'm going to help her every step of the way. I smoke Kush every day. I'm not perfect. But, Nobody's but, but, perfect. You but while we're getting off, everything you gotta out. you got to get off that. you got to get off and, and But exactly. while we're getting everything out. Get it all out. Go while ahead. While we're getting yes. everything Let's all out. Let's do that. I, I love my sister more than God himself. I love my sister. God knows how much I love my sister. And the, the issue with me and Chrissy, why we fight, it, do you want to tell them the reason why we fight? Because we have a child with the same person. No, not that. The, uh, no, she's married, no. she's married to the married. She had a baby first. And we have two kids together. But I had the baby first. What do you three want to see happen? When you go back home, are you kicking mom out? Yes. Yeah, it's over. Done. That's over. Done. Christ oh, what, Cr Christina, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I say, number one, get off drugs. Number two. There's 11 children that deserve a if functioning If there was any thing. day that I could turn back time and get my kids back. Get off. Get you off. You don't think I wouldn't? No meth, no kush. Stop doing drugs. Get in rehab. Help yourself. Yeah. A lot more coming up. Stay right there. Uh, my sister is still going to live in my house with me as long as she wants. No matter what. No matter what. I love you so much. You're my you. baby sister, and I want to kill somebody over you. Addicted to alcohol. She came to the room this morning naked. Whose room she come to? From ours. Me and my husband's room. Knocking on the door naked. Which is her brother. Yes, her brother. And her sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. Naked. Naked. And out of control. Oh, God. There she goes. See? There she goes. You do not need to do that. Uh, uh, uh. Nobody's looking at that. Nobody. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back. We all know that drugs and alcohol can ruin lives, but when a mother is abusing them, drugs and alcohol can destroy the lives of her kids as well. Please welcome Yanisha to the show. Yanisha, how you doing? Hi, how you doing, Bill? All right, uh, we've just seen a lot in the first segment. What's going on in your life? What's going on with your sister? Well, um, Bill, she wakes up with a drink. She goes to sleep with a drink. She drinks all day. 
She's a real bad mother. She has two kids. So Dominic is your sister-in-law, yes, right? Yes, sister-in-law, and she does not take care of her kids at all. She doesn't do anything. I have custody of her 13-year-old, her 7-year-old. Her mother really has custody of them. So basically, Dominic's two kids out, out of her life. Out, acting And it's all home. because of? Alcohol and drugs. Alcohol and drugs. And yes. I guess you've gone to her and said, look at the problems that your behavior is causing. What is her reaction? She don't care. She never cares. She don't care about nothing. She never cares. All she wants to do is just do whatever she wants to do. What happened with the 12-year-old? Got kicked out of the house? Well, with During the 12-year-old, yeah, they had a real big fight, and um, she kind of threw a crate at him, and she kind of hit him with a, a cup. She kind of beat him with um, stitching cord, and, you know, it was just really the ending of it. And I told her, we'll take custody of your So son. you took the trucker and said, that's it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Physical abuse, Physically gone. Physically abused, mentally abused. And he's got other away. problems, right? Yes, he's ADHD, and he's bipolar. Bipolar. Yes. So this is a handful. Yes. And she's incapable of being the mother exactly. that he deserves doesn't because of his alcohol to, and drugs. Doesn't take him to the doctor or anything. Doesn't do anything that... Of mother supposed to do. Put does like she that. have a job? Does she work? No. She no work. work. No. No get job. Drunk every day. What does she do all day? Get get drunk all day. Her baby daddy take care of her. That's how she gets the money to get drunk. She does whatever she want to do all day. And mm -hmm. she thinks it's a big joke. She, she thinks does. She does. She, she says she I'm, I'm a functioning head. alcoholic. Yes. And she dances nasty Dan at times. She came to the room this morning naked. Whose room I, she come to? From ours. Me and my husband room. Knocking on the door, naked. Which is her brother. Yes, her brother. And her sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. Naked. Naked. I mean naked. Naked. Nothing naked. on Bill. Nothing. Na she runs down the street naked. Runs, runs down the yes, street naked. Yes, at night in Chicago, she runs down the street naked. She has chased her son naked with a belt. Please welcome Yanisha's sister-in-law, Dominique, to the show. Dominique, come on out. Move. All right, it's Dominic, not... do you have a drinking problem? I think I see problems yeah, here. Yeah, you can, this is does this every happen, day. Does this happen in Chicago? Every day in Chicago. Every day. This every day. Wake no up different. like this. No different. What Nothing about your different. kids, honey? Talk to me about yeah, your children. Tell them about your what children. about my kids? Where are they? My daughter is good and my son is with them. No question. Are you a good mother? Of course. How can you be a good mother when you're not present? I'm a functional. I went to medical school, eighth grade, high school, college, <laughs> medical school. I went to police academy school. Are you functioning now? Are you functioning now? Is this good? No. Yes, I am. You yes, think this is functioning? This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> That's not fun. This is every day. Ridiculous. Every day. To you, this is deadly serious. That's serious. Explain as the come. seriousness, at least to me in the audience. Explain how she serious is it. She needs to be a mother. Take responsibility of what she's doing. Her reactions is bad. Stop acting like you are a child. You are the five years old. My mother take care of me. Whatever I want, she cook for me. She clean for she me. She wash my clothes. You're right. Oh, she don't cook. Feel. She 35. Mm. She don't cook. She don't clean. She don't do nothing. Her nothing. mother does that, and her mother is handicapped. So yeah. basically, how can you have a handicap? And I got my own house. house. And I got my own house. Mm. Dominic, my baby daddy alcoholism take care is, of her. A, is a fatal it, disease. I went to police academy school. I know. I got kicked out of police academy school. school. I know. I I police academy school how many DUIs? Because I got a DUI. How many? Two? Two. Two DUIs. You got kicked out of police academy. You got That's two DUIs. Right. You need to stop. I want to be drinking. the Chicago police right now. No, you. they not going to have nobody right, like Right, because I got DUI. Dominique. Although, hey, y'all. Dominic, this... New York. They do not want to see all that. Sit down, sit down, sit Dominic, down. Dominic, I'm not serious help. Mm -hmm. Danisha, is this funny to the family? No. They hate it's me. It's they don't but like it's not me funny. very much. They, hurt they don't so like bad. me very much. They don't, why don't they like you? My mama up my insurance policy. She doesn't like She said, the life I live. Really? Mm -hmm. Chronic, progressive, and eventually a fatal disease is alcoholism. And you're in the throes of it. First of all, I live a good life. Have you been to rehab yet? Rehab? No. What? She needs I'm to go to rehab. You're, she you're she not succeeding. Like, no, you're failing. No, no, Bill, you're no, failing. Bill, I no, tried no, to stop right. drinking, Bill. What happens? It, it, it lasts for four hours. You that's can't it. stand it. I said, what's that liquor mean? store open? See, she ready to go to liquor store now, Bill. Right now. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous.
Honey, you're in the throes of a terrible disease and you yes. need help. Yes, she does. I do. You she need does. help. I do. For those two I'm kids. Done. For those two kids. 88, uh, it's tough. Bipolar, ADHD, ADHD. prop. You, they came into the world. They didn't ask to be born. This is not the mother they, did, they okay, need. Okay, they got custody of my son because he don't want to listen to me. All right, let's hear from your brother Randy. Stay oh right there. God. A lot more coming up. Stay right there. Deep denial. I got everything I want. I don't have sex with men for money. I don't do you, nothing. Just you have two day. kids that don't have a mother. Will this confrontation? How long, Randy? How long have you had to deal with this? Uh, too long. I'm tired of it. Bro. Force her to face reality. I would never want to hurt my brother because of what the life we came from and how our grandmother took care of us. Haven't you hurt him profoundly already? Haven't you caused him great pain? Do you want to confront your neglectful or abusive mother and get some help? To share your story with us, contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. How about giving us... Before we bring Randy out, is there some event or circumstance in your life that you use alcohol as medicine so you can't face reality? If you get drunk every day like this, you don't want to face reality mm -hmm. for what reason? First of all, Bill, I live a good life. You live a drunk life. I live a good life. It's drunk. It's good. Good. Is it a I'm good life? I'm not depressed. I'm not without anything. I got everything I want. I don't have sex with men for money. I don't do you, nothing. Just you drink every day. You have two kids that don't have a mother. Exactly. They got a grandma. I know, and you, they got an uncle. Grandma and That's uncle right. didn't they bring them mama. into the world. Right. Mom and dad brought them. Guess what? They eat every day. <laughs> Not That's because of you. No, uh, because of you. Please welcome Yanisha's husband and Dominic's brother, Randy, to the show. Randy, come on out. <laughs> How long, Randy? How long have you had to deal with this? Uh, too long. I'm tired of it, boo. I'm really out. You need to get your life together, not only for your sake, but for your kids' sake and mom's sake. You know this is not the way you was raised up. And you know how to get it right. And there's a it's genetic, gen there's a genetic proportion of this. Isn't alcoholism in this family? And family yes. members have died yes. with cirrhosis yes. of the liver. My grandfather died from cirrhosis of the liver. She have a best friend who boyfriend just died from that cirrhosis reason. of the liver. It's ridiculous, Dominic. You need to get your life together for your kids. It's not about you anymore. It's about your kids. Yeah, get it together. Have a seat, I'm not Randy. telling you this because I'm trying Talk to hurt Randy. you. I'm telling you this because I love you. And it would hurt me to see something happen to you. What? what? D does she beg on the corner for money? If she didn't have money to buy booze, what happens? No, she don't beg on the corner for money because her baby daddy, he gives it to her. And we try to tell him not to give it to her because she we know what she's going to do with it. Yeah. She lives and it's, too much it's of a really pamper bad. life. Dominique, get yourself together. Is this behavior we've seen here consistent with yeah. what consistent. she does every, every day? day. Every no, day. Not, not once a week. Every, every day. day. Seven days. Every day. Every day. All day. All day. Every day. Every day, you every can't day live is like a this. turn up day for her. That's yep. all she think about. Never turn she don't down think about her nothing. kids. My niece called my phone saying, Uncle Randy, I want my brother to come home. But and I can't her, send him home because he said he's they're not getting along. Coming home. He, he never, don't, he don't want to come home. He said if he come home, he's going to go back to She called my phone the other day. And he answered it. He didn't even know who exactly. she was. Exactly. Did she get violent with a nephew, hit a nephew in the head with a bottle? Yes. So there's a little and, bit of violence acting and, up. Yes, Dominic. very violent. Very violent. That's only after I drink my third fifth. <laughs> if it's I drink that one or two fifths, I do not act right. That's she don't ridiculous. buy pints or half a pint. What That's happens all she drank if, she, if she's, she's a pint leaders. and a fifth every day? She starts, she has the shakes. If she don't have it, she was shaking this morning because she needed it. Christmas all coming in. What's it going to take? What time have... does the liquor store open? It, it's well, ridiculous. That's all she want to know. Yeah, what, time the, what time it open? Why, What's, Dominic? When's she going to get the liquor? It's not a game. Let's Why quit this. It's not a game. Let's quit this. This isn't funny. No, this is not. Funny. This, no, is real. not. this is ridiculous. Serious. Has she been hit by a car? Yes. Almost lost her hand? Oh, yes. Bust Chasing men with knives? Yes, sir. Be Bust the hand? Begging yes, sir. for money, middle of the road? I never beg for no money. I never beg for no money. Got kicked out of the, one of the schools. Uh, she can't she, she bad from the school. She, she can't she go up to the school because she come in a drunk. Go take it's, her daughter to school. Did she get in the cars of strange men? Yes. No. Yes? Yes. She have. Dominic, wake up, call I don't beg people for money, though. She don't beg. Dominic, this is not funny. It's not I don't beg for money. We're going to... We may get you some we help. We know you don't need I need, you know what, Bill? Really you know what, Bill? Really, really I'm going to tell you the guy on the truth for my brother. My brother a school teacher, and I would never hurt his name.
I would get help for him because I would never want to hurt my brother because of what the life we came from and how our grandmother took care of us. Haven't you hurt him profoundly already? Haven't you caused him great pain? Brandy, has she caused you great pain? Yes. I can't look at really. y'all right now. She has. Mm -hmm. She really Let's hurt take me. Take a look. She's hurting me on the inside I so can't much. Look at my woman up and look at him. And I, I just can't, can't. You can't. Why? Look because at him. Because you Dominique. disappoint him so much. Yeah. Look at and him. you hurt him so much. Because I went to. I'm, I'm a certified medical assistant, and I went to police academy school, and by me not doing none of the stuff I went to school from, and I'm just out kicking it every day. Every day. Oh, and he a school teacher. And you love that man. You think I'm gonna look at him? No. Why can't you look at him? I would never look at him. Why? Because look it's at hurting him. him. Because you know you're hurting him and you can't stand to see the pain in his face. He's my son, but I'm not going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop. I, I called stop. the show. I called the show because I tried to stop for myself and I couldn't. Stop for you. Stop for your children. Mm -hmm. Stop for your family. Stop for the brother that you love. Yeah, Look in the eyes of that 12 year old boy. Stop for him. Stop. Look at him. Look at him. He can't even look, can he? My nephew wants to talk to his mom, but he, he can't because he, he don't even know what to tell her, what to start. What example are you setting for him? And I have a 17-year-old sister, and she loved me. She got a car, and she, and she called she her a clown. Me. And she called me a clown the other day. Mm -hmm. Never disrespected me in, my, in her life her until the other day. We have a lot more coming up, including a life-changing opportunity for one of our guests. Stay tuned. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Kimberly could ever forgive her mom for not protecting her as a child? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now.